First up, he is the host of the podcast Mia Culpa with Michael Cohen and author of the number one New York Times bestseller, Disloyal, a memoir, the true story of the former personal attorney to President Donald Trump, Michael Cohen. Wow. Hey, Bill. Michael, how are you? I'm doing okay. How you doing, Bill? Okay, well, you got a nice applause there from our liberal crowd, so you're off thank, to a good thank start. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> it's, it's good to be applauded. All right, I'll bet, I'll bet it is. I, I, my first question is to you, because I'm always paranoid about prison. You know, I watch prison shows, and it, 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 it doesn't look good, <laughs> and you were just in prison. Um, so you're happy to be out, I'm guessing. Uh, you would be right about that. Yeah. Uh, and, and you were in Otisville, which is known as, like, a Jewish prison. I used to call it Unleavened Worth. <laughs> it's, it's actually known as Camp Cupcake, yes. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear. What did you say? I said it's, it's also known as Camp Cupcake. It's, um, you know, we have tennis and we have basketball and baseball, but it's still prison. I don't want anybody to think that prison is fun. You know, being away from my oh. wife and my children and my friends, um, it's very difficult, especially 15 months. Um, it's it's not an easy it's not an easy ride, no matter where you're at. Right, and of course. And this country you... really needs to start. The country really needs to start thinking about better prison reform because I do know the president talked about it. Of course, he put the secretary of everything, Jared Kushner, on the job, so nothing's going to get done on there either. And you know, um, it's okay, really good. Need... We really do need prison reform in this country, desperately. All right. So, and I, I, look, I know, even the best prison, you don't have your freedom and you're, you're cleaning toilets and, you know, they, they get up when they, you get up when they say get up. And, you know, it, it's prison. It's, it sucks. My question to you is, because you're very honest in your book, it's called Mia Culpa. You know, I mean, your show is called Mia Culpa and your book is talking about you did bad things for Donald Trump. So I'm asking you right now, the punishment you had, do you think it was too easy? for what you did, too hard, or just the right amount of punishment? You know, it's, that's a very tough question. It's a great question. Thank uh, you. I think it was, it was, I think it was just the right amount. I mean, 15 months could be away. <laughs> One <laughs> more was, day, it, it, was, and it would have been too much. <laughs> well, I did do 51 days in solitary confinement, which is not easy. You're locked in a cell that's eight by 10, the windows were broken. It's 103 degrees with wow. no ventilation, flies, broken glass. The bath, the bath toilets don't work. The sinks don't work. You have no access to the outside for cold water. It's, wait, it's wait, not you're just telling me about tennis and we had baseball and we had, it sounded sound like a douche commercial. And then, okay. Well, that was as a result, that was as a result of COVID. Okay. They put everybody into solitary confinement. All right, so what do you think? Now, you did some bad things for Donald Trump. I mean, you, you paid off Stormy Daniels, and if you didn't do that, we might have heard about that before the election, and he may not be president, so that's bad. And then you, you say you threatened a lot of people. What do you think is the... What's the wor what do you feel worst about that you did for Trump? Lied to Melania, you know, uh, about, about all this. It's not my right to have lied to her. I shouldn't have what? done it, and it's something I feel terrible about. 